Hi everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here with an update on Fallout 4 console performance. Our initial findings saw the developers targeting 1080p30 gameplay with somewhat variable results. Both versions have issues maintaining their frame rate targets, but it's the Xbox One version that has a tangible disadvantage. There's a kind of macro stutter issue that seems to be related to the game's background streaming technology. Entering new areas can see second long pauses and even switching weapons sometimes causes problems. It doesn't seem to be a CPU or GPU GPU bottleneck and storage is far more likely to be the issue. So we copied across our Fallout 4 install onto three different external Xbox One storage solutions. A 1TB 7200RPM hard drive, a 1TB Seagate hybrid SSHD and a 480GB OCZ solid state drive. Retesting the game's trouble spots we can confirm that it's definitely a storage bottleneck and until the Xbox One version is patched, using a solid state drive in a USB enclosure resolves the issue almost completely and you can see that here as we compare the standard Xbox One stock drive with its PS4 equivalent and the SSD. Those sudden drops in frame rate on the internal drive signified by the dip in the green graph line, well all of them are gone. There are still performance dips but these will be either CPU or GPU related. So, pairing an SSD with Xbox One is, dare we say it, something of a nuclear option. It's a way to eliminate storage as the bottleneck as best we can, albeit at an extremely high price. This OCZ drive cost us £109 and at the time that was a bargain. But what about our cheaper external storage options? First of all, let's look at another three-way comparison. The original Xbox One stock drive, the SSD and a new contender, the 1TB 7200 RPM drive. Now, what's interesting here is that the 1TB upgrade still hands in most of the performance uplift we see with the SSD. Many of those 400 millisecond spikes we see on the original drive, which manifest as a sustained 20 FPS drop on the graph, well, they're gone while others are diminished. The 0fps macro stutter we saw with the original drive is also reduced, or indeed completely eliminated. Here the 7200 RPM drive hands in close performance to the SSD, though the improvement isn't quite so consistent. There's a sense that it's something like a halfway house in terms of a solution, and the weapon switching lag remains much the same. Our final Xbox One test sees us trying out a hybrid SSHD, a 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive paired with a smaller solid state component that acts as a cache of sorts for frequently accessed data. In this scenario we find that there is still an improvement in that the 0fps macro stutter is again greatly reduced and in some respects it's actually slower than the 7200 rpm drive while in other places it's on par and elsewhere it's a touch better. And finally PS4 owners might be wondering whether an SSD improves performance on their version of the game. In this final comparison we've got the PS4 stock drive compared with an SSD and we've also thrown in the Xbox One SSD performance too. We could only spot one area where the PS4 SSD showed any kind of improvement. It's basically margin of error stuff, but you'll note that the Xbox One is much more competitive generally with PS4 now. It's just a touch less stable overall across the run of play. It really illustrates the need for a patch to sort out the storage issues when running from the internal Xbox One drive, but right now we'd recommend moving the game over to an external drive to help iron out some of the stutter, even if slower drives won't remove all of it. So we hope that this overview of storage options with Fallout 4 has been useful. If there's anything else you feel worth testing please let us know, but in the meantime please support us with a like if you thought the video was useful, or better yet subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.